All right, so I thought you guys might be interested in seeing this. Uh, some of you guys who are interested in building your first rifle or stepping up to a higher level kit. Um, just in the mail today, Jim Chambers rifle kit from Jim Chambers Limited out of North Carolina. Um, Jim and Barbie do a great job uh, getting these kits put together and getting them out to you quick when they've got them in stock, which is nice. They happen to have this one in stock in the uh, upgraded maple that I was looking for. This is a Little Fellers rifle kit, and I'm gonna be building this for my wife for uh, the Woods Walks at Friendship, basically. So a uh, Woods Walk rifle, smaller, lighter. She's 5'4", so uh, one of my long rifles is just too, too end heavy for her. So I thought I'd um, open this up, let you guys see what it is that you're getting when you buy a Jim Chambers flintlock kit. And this is gonna to apply to several of the other higher end kits, um, but this particular one is from Jim Chambers. So let's head over to the workbench and take a look. All right, here we are at the workbench. Um, I'll get this thing cracked open. Let's take a look. I'll do the best I can as far as uh, camera angle and all that. I haven't done this much, so um, let's take a look. And I haven't opened this yet at all, so you're seeing it for the first time along with me. And these come boxed in a uh, cardboard box. Um, let's see if I can get this back open here. All right. And so you got uh, your invoice with a nice big thank you from Barbie. Um, I ordered the Little Feller's rifle, the extra hard and fancy wood. I got some of the stock finish, some more, because uh, I'm running low on that, some more browning solution. Um, extra, a couple of 5 16 ramrods, a couple half inch ramrods uh, for, I'm going to build wipers for some of my big smooth bores, and some ramrod tips. So that's basically what's in here. So here we've got our trigger guard. So nice sand cast trigger guard. It's not going to take much. Already pretty smooth. So that's real nice. And I got one of David Racy's. Um, trigger guard jet, uh, jig. So mount that on there and you can rotate that in your vise, which is pretty awesome. So uh, these are always a pain to kind of get all around and file. So you need, you don't need, but it's easier with something like this. So trigger guard. And get some of this out of here. This is some of his stock finish, um, which is really, really good stuff. Jim Chambers traditional stock finish and um, the barrel brown and degreaser from Laurel Mountain Forge. And I like that stuff. So I was running low, time to get a little more. And what we got here? So we got our lock. And he sends a, a little do's and don'ts list with a diagram on his locks. Chambers locks, hard to beat. Really nice, all has to be broken down, sanded, especially if you're gonna do any engraving on there. You've got to uh, sand it down, get it smooth. A lot, a lot of labor involved in doing that, but there's the lock. And let's see what we got here. And you got a packet with 
the butt plate. So same sand cast, investment cast, butt plate, small butt plate. This is a small rifle. And let's see. And all the loose, the uh, nose cap. Pipes, that's the entry pipe. Pipes, all ready to be sanded. And everything else, the trigger, all the other stuff you would expect, the bolts, the uh, uh, ramrod tips, side plate. I may or may not use this side plate, but a nice investment cast side plate. Trigger bar, all the parts you need, and and he also supplies a um, a drill and tap for uh, tapping the lock and the um, trigger plate and the things that need tapping. So and some looks like there's some um, some rod stock in for pins and a little um, instruction packet as well. So everything you need there. And kind of the main thing if you want to see here is the stock itself. And he's got it taped to a wood block for shipping. So we'll get that off of there. And there's a the stock. So kind of roughly inlet on the butt. Inlet on the lock. Mortise. And this part of the, um, the stock is left square, so you can get that in a vise. So that's handy, um, having all that square. And inlet in the, uh, the side plate inlet as well. So, and I'm sure this, all these inlets are undersized. That way there's no, uh, there's no gaps right off the bat. And the barrel and the, uh, and the uh, tang inlet. And that tang comes all the way down here. That's a short inlet. That way, if you want to um, fingernail the end of the tang or whatever, you've got plenty of room to do that. So these have about a 13 inch length of pull. So pretty short, uh, but definitely shootable for, for even me. And, and this is a, uh, I believe I ordered this in 50 cal for her. Let's see. Here's the barrel. And the extra ramrods. It's always a good idea anytime you order a gun or anything like that, and you're gonna get a big box in, a barrel, get a bunch of ramrods, different sizes. They go over here in my ramrod stock, and you break a ramrod, fire one out of the end of your barrel on the range, you've always got another one. A couple hours in the shop. This, where it's gonna go, right here in my gun vise and let's take a look at this barrel and here's the barrel so nice swamp barrel This is one of Rice's special made barrel, 50 cal. <laughs> so, super good stuff. Little short barrel, it's a, uh, what is this? This is a 34 inch barrel. So handy dandy little size. 
and it's going to make a pretty lightweight gun and she should really like this so i'm excited jim chambers makes a great great uh kit everything is ready um front sight barrel lugs all dovetailed in already um, rear sight is not that way you can put the rear sight where you want to put it so there we go so i get this in a couple of days i'll get this uh barrel inlet get the lock inlet um, get the triggers in and then start working it down nose cap after that butt plate and uh, yeah, these things take about i don't know it depends on your experience and i don't have a lot i've done less than uh, uh half a dozen uh, builds so it'll take me you know 7500 hours something like that so and that's a pretty pretty nice piece of maple got some pretty nice curl in it it's hard to tell dry but um but i see it in there so a lot of wood to come off general shape is in there um this is the design of the butt plate i'll probably i mean uh, the the cheek rest i'll probably square that up and and change that but um i guess it probably depends on what my wife thinks about it so there you go the gym chambers kit very nice kit beautifully shaped already your architecture's there um it's just a matter of of getting to it 100 hours 50 hours and you've got you a a gun easily worth twice what you paid for the kit if you take your time so hope you guys enjoyed it we'll see you next time thanks guys bye